purchased them, the trucks are not the best. And so I've got an example. I've had several examples. I would say one out of every five cars that I get, I need to tinker around with the trucks to get them right. I have one that I can't get fixed. That particular truck doesn't want to stay in the closed position. And so what happens is you, as you go around the truck, it opens itself up. As you go around the track, it opens itself up, okay? So you gotta remove this truck and either try to tinker around and fix it or replace it with another one. Now, what I did was I, uh, I have another one that's coming that's gonna go on this one to fix it. So here we go. Here is the other truck and I'm just, I've already loosened the pin up a little bit, that little pin. And I did that just so it'd be easy to demonstrate how you do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a butter knife seemed to be a good thing to work for me it's smooth edges you know and you're going to lay that underneath the truck and of course with all things made out of plastic you just want to take your time and kind of work it up slowly so and i've already started working on this one so i and that one it was 80 percent of the way out to begin with and now, here it is. Here's the little pin. Here's the other truck. This is actually a good truck. This is the one that's faulty. So I have um, some spare Lionel trucks that I'm gonna probably use. Um, I also had a problem with another truck. Uh, this one was on a freight car. Freight cars use one type of trucks, and these flat cars, use they use steel trucks on the um, plastic, or on the flat cars, they use, uh, they use plastic trucks. Steel wheels, but plastic trucks. So anyways, that's how you remove them. And then of course, your next option is to either drill that hole out a little bit bigger, this hole right here, drill it out a little bit bigger, and maybe put a different type of truck in there, maybe a Lionel truck that's good, maybe you got a spare or whatever. Or if you can get one of these, an extra one of these from Menards, if they'll give you one, I've heard that they will, um, that might be the other option. So that's how I fix, or that's how I remove the truck so I can fix them on my Menards flat cars. All right, thanks.